All right, so today we're diving deep into psoriasis treatments. Yeah. We've got two sources, uh, the Informed Patient Decision Aid and this article from Canal Salu. And it uh, looks like they'll help us break down the pros and cons of all the different treatments out there, right? Yeah, exactly. I think what's interesting is both of these sources kind of have a different approach, but um, they have the same goal, you know? Managing psoriasis informed it really detailed, like all these different treatment options so you can really compare. But Canal Salu, they take um, a broader view, you know, focusing on the main types of treatment that doctors actually use. So, okay, informed aid, it mentions that psoriasis can clear up on its own, just like disappear. Do people ever try that? Like, just wait and see, or do they go straight to treatment? Well, I mean, it might be tempting, you know, to just wait especially if it's not that bad, if the symptoms are mild. But uh, you got to remember, psoriasis is chronic. That means there's no cure. So it might clear up for a bit, but it can always come back and uh, and sometimes even worse. And even if it's mild, it can be, you know, really uncomfortable. It affects your life. You know, Canal Salu really emphasizes that treatment is about managing how you feel and um, not waiting for a cure that doesn't exist. Right. So doing nothing is an option, but maybe not the best one. What about those uh, alternative therapies, you know, like InformD talks about? Mm -hmm. Things like uh, fish oil and moisturizers, salt baths, even sunlight. Yeah, yeah. Those are um, what they call complementary and alternative medicine or KMM. Some of them, like fish oil, it's got those omega-3 fatty acids and they can, you know, help with the inflammation. And uh, moisturizers for dryness and itching, salt baths can help too. But sunlight, that, that's a tricky one. Some sun can help, but too much sun can cause skin cancer, right? So it's not the same as... Um, you know, controlled phototherapy, which we can talk about later. Gotcha. So CAM can be helpful, but watch out for the sun. <laughs> and always talk to your doctor. <laughs> right. That brings us to uh, what both sources say is the first choice for um, mild to moderate psoriasis, those topical treatments. Yep, exactly. Creams, ointments, lotions, you put it right on your skin. They're um, usually safe, pretty easy to use, which is great. And... Uh, Informed, it gives you all the types, like corticosteroids, they reduce inflammation, and vitamin D analogs, they uh, slow down how fast your skin cells grow. So those are like the big ones for topicals. What about downsides? Any downsides to those? Well, they might only work on uh, smaller areas, you know? Might not be enough if it's all over. And and some people, they get irritated skin from some topicals, and Form D mentions that. Okay, so topicals are good, but they have their limits. What happens when they don't work? That's when we get to phototherapy, right? A lot of times, yeah. Phototherapy uses um, ultraviolet light, and it helps to slow down the skin cell growth. Informed, he talks about like UVB and PUVA, and it can be done in a clinic or uh, even at home if you have the right equipment. Canal Salud, they focus more on um, UVA and UVB, and they talk about how using UVA with a drug called Sorolin can make it uh, work better. White therapy. That sounds intense. Any drawbacks there? What should people know about? Well, it means you have to go to a clinic, you know, regular treatments. Unless you have a device at home, then you can do it there. It can also make your skin um, more sensitive, especially at first. And PUVA, there's some concern about, you know, long-term skin cancer risks. So, again, talking to your doctor is, like, really important. Okay, so phototherapy is a step up in intensity. What if that's not enough? Is that when we move on to systemic treatments? Usually, yeah. These are um, medications, pills, or injections, and they work uh, throughout your whole body to target your immune system and um, reduce inflammation. They're often used when uh, other treatments haven't worked for you know moderate to severe psoriasis. Okay, so they sound pretty strong. What are the downsides of these systemic treatments? Well, the main thing is side effects. They can be mild or uh, or severe. It depends on the medication. In Form D, they go into detail about all the different side effects. And um, Canal Salud, they talk about how important it is to, you know, get regular blood tests to catch any problems early on. So systemic treatments, they're a big step up in terms of like how well they work, but also the risks, right? And that brings us to biologics. Those seem like the most uh, targeted treatment, right? Yeah, biologics are pretty amazing. They've been a game changer for a lot of people with, you know, severe psoriasis. What they do is they target specific proteins, you know, the ones that are involved in the immune response that causes psoriasis. So it's not um, suppressing your whole immune system, like those systemic treatments. That sounds uh, much more precise. Yeah. How are they given? these biologics? They're given by injection or uh, infusion. Yeah. And a lot of times people can learn to give them to themselves at home, which is great, you know, if you don't want to go to the clinic all the time. But I'm sure there are some downsides, right? There's got to be. Of course. Yeah. Biologics are um, the most expensive. That can be a big problem for people. 
And uh, even though they're generally well tolerated, there are potential side effects. And uh, you need to be up to date on certain vaccinations before you start. Inform talks about all that. So biologics, big decision, big potential benefits, but big costs too. Okay, beyond the specifics of each treatment, both sources mention like cost and accessibility. How does that factor in? Oh, absolutely. The cost can be uh, anywhere from, you know, over-the-counter moisturizers to like tens of thousands of dollars a year for biologics. So a huge range. And then mm -hmm. uh, your insurance, where you live, even just your doctor knowing about certain treatments, it all makes a difference in what you can actually get. So, wow, we covered a lot from no treatment to biologics. It seems like choosing a psoriasis treatment is a really personal decision. Yeah, yeah, it really is. There's no one answer for everybody. And that's why um, talking to your doctor is so important. Exactly. They can help you, you know, weigh the pros and cons for you and think about your needs, your health history, and your goals. It sounds like this deep dive has given everyone listening a good starting point for that conversation. It really has. Knowledge is power, you know. And yeah. the more you know, the better you can be involved in your own healthcare decisions. Exactly. And that's what we're all about here on The Deep Dive. Now, before we move on to um, some tips for talking to your doctor, let's take a quick break. We'll be back in a moment to continue our uh, deep dive into psoriasis treatments. Okay, we're back and uh, ready to jump back into psoriasis treatments. Mm. So we've talked about all the options, but um, how do you know it's right for you? Right, right. And both InformD and Canal Salou have some um, good tips for talking to your doctor about that. Yeah. InformD says, start by thinking about your goals. What are you hoping to get out of treatment? Exactly. I mean, do you want, like, totally clear skin? Or is it more about um, just making the symptoms less bad so you feel better, more comfortable, you know, your goals will determine uh, what kind of treatment makes sense. It's easy to get caught up in wanting a cure, right? But sometimes it's more realistic to just manage the symptoms and, uh, you know, improve your quality of life. Absolutely. It's all about what works for you, not um, what some textbook says or what worked for someone else. InformD also mentions talking to your doctor about your health history like your overall health. Yeah, that's really important because uh, other conditions you have or medications you're taking, they can affect what treatments are safe and um, effective for you, especially, you know, with systemic treatments and biologics. They can interact with other medications or uh, make some conditions worse. And of course, don't be afraid to ask about side effects, right? Like what are the common ones? Anything uh, rare but serious? Yeah, yeah. Knowing the risks and benefits, it helps you make a, um, a more informed decision. It's about being open with your doctor, you know? So Canel Salou brings up something else too, lifestyle. Right, they talk about how uh, things like your diet, alcohol, smoking, even stress, they can all affect your psoriasis. So it's not just about medication, it's about um, taking care of your whole self. So it's like you're actively managing your condition, not just uh, waiting for a doctor to fix it. Exactly, and um, that leads to another thing Canel Salou mentions, sticking to your treatment plan. That's really important for getting the best results. It can be tough, you know, especially if it's long-term, but the, uh, the benefits are usually worth it. And if you're having trouble, your doctor can help, right? right. Figure out what's getting in the way and uh, find solutions that work for you. Yeah, it's a partnership, you're working together. Okay, so we've talked about different treatments, things to think about, talking to your doctor. I think we've given everyone a pretty good overview of uh, how to approach psoriasis treatment. Yeah, I think so. We've looked at the pros and cons, how important it is to get advice from your doctor, and uh, you know how lifestyle and sticking to the plan can really make a difference. But before we move on, I want to go back to something InformD said about... Um, the emotional side of psoriasis. It's not just physical, right? Definitely not. Psoriasis can have a big impact on, you know, your mental health, your quality of life. People might feel embarrassed, anxious, even uh, depressed about their skin. So it's important to deal with those feelings too, right, as part of your treatment. Don't be afraid to um, reach out for help. Talk to your doctor or therapist. Maybe join a support group. Yeah, you know, you're not alone. There are resources out there to help you uh, cope and live a good life, even with psoriasis. It's good to remember that you have some control over this, yeah. right? It's about understanding your options and, uh, you know, advocating for yourself. Exactly. And that's what we hope you get from this, uh, this deep dive, the knowledge and the confidence to be involved in your own health journey. Now, before we wrap up, I want to leave you with something to think about. We've talked about all the medical stuff, the pros and cons, the importance of uh, personalized care. But beyond all that, 
What does living well with psoriasis mean to you? That's a good question. Think about uh, what really matters to you, your health, your well-being, your quality of life. Do you want to completely clear your skin? Or is it more about um, being able to do the things you love without being limited by your symptoms? Do you want to feel good about your skin, even if it's not perfect? Or is it about um, finding peace, accepting it? There's no right answer. It's about figuring out what's important to you and uh, using that to guide you. Because at the end of the day, living well with psoriasis, it's about more than just treating the physical part. It's about um, accepting yourself, finding joy, and living a full life, even with the challenges. It's pretty amazing how much we learned about psoriasis treatments just from, you know, going through all this together. It's like we went from feeling kind of lost to like actually understanding what's out there, what we can do. Yeah, for sure. That's what knowledge does, right? It takes away the fear and helps you um, make good decisions about your health. Absolutely. And speaking of decisions, it's important to remember that treating psoriasis, it's uh, often a journey, not just a one-time thing. What works now might not work forever. You know, your needs change, new treatments come out, or um, your psoriasis might even be different later on. Exactly. And that's why it's so important to keep talking to your doctor. It's not just about that first appointment. It's about having like a, a long term relationship where you can talk about anything, any concerns or, um, you know, new things that come up. Yeah. It's like having someone to guide you. Right. Yeah. To help you figure things out and make sure you're on the right track. Right. And don't forget, you're not alone in this. There are so many people out there living with psoriasis and uh, so many resources to help you. We talked about some of them, like those uh, support groups and online communities. Mm -hmm. It can be really helpful to connect with people who, you know, get it, who understand what you're going through. Oh, definitely. Sharing your experiences, getting support, even just knowing you're not alone, it can make a huge difference. So as we wrap up this uh, deep dive into psoriasis treatments, I want to leave you with one last thought. We talked about all the medical stuff, the different treatments, personalized care. But um, thinking beyond that, what does living well with psoriasis actually mean to you? Hmm. That's a good question. Think about, you know, what really matters to you, your health, how you feel, your quality of life. Yeah. Is it about having completely clear skin? Or is it more about managing it so you can um, do the things you love, you know, without being limited by your psoriasis? Is it about feeling good about yourself, how you look? Or is it more about, like, acceptance, finding peace with it? There's no one right answer. It's about figuring out what's important to you and uh, using that to guide you. Yeah, because in the end, living well with psoriasis, it's not just about the physical stuff. It's about, you know, accepting yourself, finding joy and living a, a full life, even with the challenges. It's about knowing that you have the power to um, to make choices that are good for you and to, to ask for the care and support you need. That's right. And remember, you're stronger than you think. And there are people out there to support you. So go out there and live well. And don't forget to tune in next time for another deep dive into a topic that matters to you. Until then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep diving deep.